Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. Just gonna play some crystal balls as we're gathering and as the energies are gathering. Just dropping into this sacred space on this equinox. drop into our breath, our shared breath, our shared breath, our shared hearts. We're slightly later starting because I just had to go outside and sure enough we are not alone. <laughs> I'm right above the mountain which I can see right from my home here in Manchester. We have evidence of our family, families. Blessed equinox. Wherever you are on this planet. I want to open with really sincerely thanking each of us for being here, here, and not only here in the circle, but here, here on the planet, here in body. It's a massive, massive undertaking. In this space, may each being be fully honored for all that it is to be here. To not just be physically alive, 
but to keep awakening our hearts, our minds, our bodies, to keep enlivening with the light of the divine that we are, and then living from here. And I know, I feel that this comes from our teams as well, our beloveds, our families of light. You can feel it. So let's start where we are here. We're here in this moment, this balancing point. This opening point, this incredible portal. And starting here and being here and landing here, always our deep ally is conscious breath. So let us come together in this. Not to be the same, because each of us here is gloriously unique, gloriously unique. So our breath will be both a unique experience and a shared experience. What we are coming to is firstly aligning with our own self through breath and then synchronizing, harmonizing with each presence here. So just stay with breath for a moment. So there's a deepening that happens. and a widening that happens. Don't try and superimpose anything. Don't try and superimpose. Don't try and contort or overlay. Breath is the pathway that we, that we live through with whatever is here. And I just invite some more freedom in the body. So especially feeling the belly the whole solar plexus and belly, the abdomen, any tension that there's been here, we can inhale, we can exhale, inhale and exhaling, softening. And we can just lightly hold the intention that relaxation at the most profound level into awareness. 
spreads throughout the whole body, the whole system. It's available. Okay, so as we're continuing, just a few words for any of you who haven't been in circle before <clears throat> for a while. That together we're co-creating a space in this moment of optimum resonance, of optimum frequency. And we're tracking this all the way through the different levels of being and the body to fully integrate and ground together. And then we're sharing these emanations and blessings to all beings who might be receptive, whose higher selves are in agreement. And what I want to say again is that any words or guidance that come through here are just offerings. Take everything through your own channel. So we are intimately part of a group field with the physical beings and the light beings that are here, here being multidimensionally. And we are unique, we are a unique expression of source. So I trust our sovereignty in tracking that and allowing that and bringing that fully to the space. So call yourself as, as a master. Call yourself forward in all of your gloriousness. We include our human, we embrace our human. We welcome everything that shows up. And we are standing here. inner sovereignty, no less. Equals. On this equinox, equals to each other, equals with our light family and our guides. There is no hierarchy. And in that, when we talk about higher frequencies, it's just a description of resonance. We're fundamentally burning through the paradigm of separation, of better than, worse than, more than, less than. So let us stand in this field of light as allies, as brave ones, awakening ones. Stripping away. Don't attach 
to any of the words or meanings. We truly could sit here in silence, but our minds would intervene. Trust is field. Trust your own being. Trust your infinite capacities. And throughout our journeying and receiving, you can return to noticing the omnipresence of breath, the support. So we stay in body. And I'll say more about this later. So I'm just feeling some density in the chest. And when I speak to these things, it's just that this body is, acts as a barometer for the group field and things are sensed. You may or may not be sensing this, but um, particularly on the right side of the chest, we could call it grief, we could call it pressure. It's just a density of energetic that is naturally rising up to the sides, to the surface, to the light. And our invitation is not to do anything. First and foremost, let, let the eye go. Let the personality go even more. There's just isness. And in the isness, there's happening and not happening. And as humans, allegedly, we get to sense through body. But we're not humans, of course. We're consciousness. playing through this form. Everything, everything that plays out on this screen, on this light, can be lived in the same way, can be met. As the infinite. And this is our play. This is our loving practice.
So we're going to continue to unfold. And I just want to draw this in. as one of the more important points to remember at the moment. Nothing is more important than waking up. And living as divinity, being divinity. And if we choose to stay in this body, so to live awake, and all of that calls for conscious, repeated choosing and dedication. If you're here, and I'm speaking to those of us here, then this is the top priority. And life aligns accordingly. When we get really clear on this, everything that we might choose to engage in in our life, from work to relationships to creating abundance, serving our community, flows from this. And there are lots of pitfalls, lots of pitfalls, which I won't go into in detail, but this can be a hiding place and a bypass in so many ways. The real tension, and by that I mean the <clears throat> power of the energy lies here where the formless, the infinite, meets matter, meets density. And this is awakened life, this marriage, this love making. And our ego and our programming loves to torture us. So I'm speaking to this from a context of the immensity of what we're in right now. I know for many of you, you know, you feel, you experience how massive it is and how impactful in terms of living all the things that the personality thought they were going to be doing gets washed away. So whether we're having to be completely alone or in bed, whether we're having to rigorously move the body, eat certain foods, do certain practices, all of the above, it's really taking center stage. Allow it. The ego self that wants to pull us back into small things. Let it be. So here today, 
our focus. Now that we're landing in is to be vessels in the humblest, truest, and most powerful way for light, for as much of the highest, purest source light that is pouring in. Then to ground this fully through our bodies, And then ultimately and inherently to share this unconditionally, to be vessels. This light flows through us into collective consciousness, to all beings. There is no part that is about building up some personal um, supply. Um, we, we are the clear flute and we are washed through as that and all is washed through. Okay, so I just want to be really clear about this. So we're going to focus on that first stage which of course we're already in and we've been in, but we're going to fo focus on it without distraction. And perhaps when we go into silence for a bit, I'm just going to invite the energies to really come through and invite any of us to be in the optimal position if you want to lie down and just let go. That was what I've been doing the last couple of hours, just been lying and letting the most incredible energies move through. So feel free. doesn't matter if you fall into sleep in this context. Let your body be open. It's good to have the hands or the arms open. So that supports the circuitry. And of course, our feet, our sacrum are plugged in to the ascended grids of Gaia, the circuit board. Okay, just as we are plugged into each other in a divine tapestry. All of our light teams. There is an endless invitation to softening in the body. The greater the light, the more powerful divine frequencies, the body can also surrender, dissolve. Yet we're here, we're claiming, choosing to stay in body and allowing it to be utterly merged with source. You may feel or sense the openness radiating out from the Christ at Heart Center, radiating out equally through both sides of the body, right and left. Softness opening, 
receiving, receiving, receiving more love. And we can conceive of back and the front. Deep, deep inside, deep into the center. The most internal places in the torso, pelvis, the deepest, deepest spots in the heart. And each of us will go where we're ready to go. The deepest centers of the brain. and the ears and the inner hearing, all of the countless things that have been heard in our lifetime, audibly and psychically. I mean, especially in this era, it's just a torrent. So we are opening here in this sacred space to the ultimate divine impurity and unicity. And you may experience In pouring of light, we're touching the throat and the back of the throat. This is simply brought into the field. Heart and the ribs, lungs. Just completely loving your own washing through your own pace and trust and surrender in safety, in divine adoration. Body can relax. Body can let go. The small self can let go. What a relief. few moments more.
and then reacquaint with breath. Not from the standpoint of the doer. Just bringing it into awareness. Still completely allowing being adored, being washed through by divine light. Bring in the equilateral cross, so the equal sided cross that centers through the heart space. Okay, so we are oriented in each direction, we're centered in the heart space, and breath moves through. still in this expanded state, just include awareness of all of the biological functions, the heart pumping, the muscles, the nerves, bones, the tendons, and inhabit this body. as divinity. Okay. Find your feet and uh, just internally find your feet and that may expand into some gentle movement, recline or always be welcome to, to touch really as God, God is, as love, as the infinite touching itself. Communicating this to the cells. So really getting more and more intimate and familiar with what it feels like to awaken, to expand more and more in divinity and be here, be in this body, what it feels like in the body. And it feels like everything. It feels like the most exquisite bliss. And it can feel like the most immense agony. Drop the stories. Stay with the yes. So we'll just take a minute or two to really, to really care for the body. What does it need? What does it want? Does it want to be cradled, stroked, held firmly? We're still absolutely here in circle. Communing.
This too is part of the dance and the the exploring. I don't want to use the word practice because it pulls us in a different place, but is to sit in our uniqueness, in our sovereignty, and simultaneously not pull back from our absolute interconnectedness. This is what too is right at the heart of what it is to live awake. It's a unique experience, but it's not a solitary one. So and with this, let us as one, as a coherent field, including our awareness, all other fields of an equal or higher resonance that are gathering in meditation and healing and service for pure undifferentiated source for the highest good of all. And let us consciously open and emanate the frequencies and gifts of this space to the collective, to all whose higher selves are in agreement that this may serve and uplift all beings. And you're very welcome to include any specific humans or non-humans in the field. And they may well make themselves known. And we don't have to be incarnate, of course. I just had that beloved soul brother pop in this who left the planet the day after Equinox last year. So our beloved ones, our communities, and our planetary family, because it is And of course, we can extend, we are extending to all of the aspects of Gaia and all life on Gaia. And I'm hearing for us to stay <laughs> focused in that. It's a big enough field not to go further out, but on this equinox moment, to can stay with Gaia and the human family. But don't leave yourself. Don't leave yourself because you are the point of God, the point of sovereign connection and power. So coming back in again and just rooting and reorienting in your fields. Beautiful. Notice 
Well, there's multiple qualities here, but just want us to notice the peace. Let it enter. It doesn't matter the circumstances that the mind might know of in our personal life, surroundings. Of course, the play of war. Feel the truth of the peace. Be here. Let's just breathe this even more. It's nourishment. To immerse deeply. what we are. Ke ma yari yana ku aye, me i ato i che yana tari yakai, me ne te yana ke ya a, yana ta i yamakya, yura ta i me ke so many angelic beings surrounding us, surrounding us all, all, all all beings. Me atari akai me kui te in atai. And when we get conscious, we partner with ourselves as divinity. We partner with all the expressions of divinity. We partner with the angelic ones, the galactic ones, the ascended ones, the awakened ones, in form or not in form. You'd be welcome to just take some deeper breaths. There's some more layers just moving through the lung space. Being here. Peace, love, continuously discovering <clears throat> new balance, new equanimity, not what it was even yesterday, but in this now with greater and greater levels of light, what is it? to be alive with greater and greater healing, like revealing oh, parts that haven't been seen, that haven't been shone upon by love, we discover new balance and of course discovering new balance includes being out of balance momentarily or longer we're not holding on we're not static we are evolution we we are evolution always expressing as stillness also, the infinite is also utter stillness, equanimity if you like. We are all of this. Ah, <sighs> 
take three breaths together. You might want to do what I'm doing, put a hand in the chest, hand in the heart, hand in the solar plexus of the belly. So quite well, usually um, we open up the space for sharing, expressions, explorations, and being, <laughs> not just being guided, I mean, told very clearly uh, uh, not to do that today as to to have us here. And we'll just rest here for a little bit longer before closing this space. And as always, you can stay. You can stay when the call drops off. You can stay with beloved. Each of us is swathed in golden white Christed light. Each of us is connected by the most brilliant golden thread to the heart of consciousness and the heart of source. Each of us is aligned with our absolute highest purity, our absolute highest expression of divinity. And by highest, I mean truest, the most authentic. And there is nothing greater. And we realize this in part, in significant part through exactly this, through community and communion, through reflection, through interaction energetically, physically, emotionally. Remember what I spoke to earlier, there is nothing more important, more central than being a vessel for divinity. Bringing this through the body. And in loving life, fully, wholeheartedly. Nothing is more important. Don't be filled by all of the distractions and stories. You know this, that's why you're here. All of the blessings of this now and all eternity flow to and through each one of us. Blessed be.